The Sologenic IDEO Launchpad is live now. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover three topics. How to issue your own XRPL token using Sologenic, how to list your token on the market index, and how to successfully create and launch an IDEO. Let's get started. To access the IDEO Launchpad, simply go to the Markets tab on the Sologenic web application and click on IDEO Launchpad. Here, we're able to access our dashboard where we can see all of the tokens and IDOs that we have previously listed, even if they are unpublished. If you already have a token, you may skip this stage and just simply input the token information. If you don't, let's go ahead and go through the issuance process first. First, you're required to burn some solo. This is just for a tutorial reference, the pricing might change. Once you confirm and sign the transaction, you will be directed to this screen where you can input all of the details for your token to be issued. The first one is the currency code. This code is automatically generated based on the character input. In this case, I'm going to use the name Digit. I actually used ChatGPT to help me create a new token idea and supply just for the sake of this tutorial. After inputting the initial supply, you can choose to black hole the issuer address so no more tokens can be minted. In advanced settings, you can set a transfer rate, meaning every time someone transacts this token, a fee will be collected by the issuer address. To finish the issuance process, you simply need to activate an XRP wallet. This wallet will hold the secret key to the issuer address for this token. You need 10 XRP just to have that wallet activated. And the next step would be to create a trust line just like any other XRPL token. Both these steps are being completed on the back end. As you can see in the user interface, you simply have to sign both transactions and you should be good to go. We just wait a little bit and then the token has been successfully issued and it lives already on the ledger. Now, let's go to create an IDO. The first step to creating an IDO is to list the token so all of the information is available for potential investors. Here I can input the actual ticker name of the token, short description, and select a few categories that are compatible with the project behind the token. Next up, you need to select an inception date, it's ideally the date you created the token, and you can insert certain tags that may help um, users to find your token while searching different types of offerings. Lastly, you can input some links that might be relevant to the project, like Discord, chat, um, an official website, social media. And of course, don't forget to upload the token logo, which will be visible on the market index and the IDEO launchpad as well. In this case, I, I tried to go with AI again, but I wasn't happy with the results, so I just designed something really simple. As you can see, Digit has been issued and listed as a token, and now I can proceed to create IDOs. Simply select digit and the token details are already here since I already listed the token. Um, some of them are optional, for example, airdrops and roadmaps and tokenomics. But being a promotional tool, I definitely encourage you to put the most up to date, relevant information in those fields. Once you're done verifying the token details, now we get to the IDO details. I'm going to assign a name to the IDO. In this case, I'm going to name it Vault since the utility of this Digi token um, is to be as a transactional token for ad space on Web3 protocols. I'm going to go ahead and input a short description. And now we jump onto the stages. So for each stage of the IDO, you have to choose a start date and an end date that don't overlap, a name for that specific stage, a referential price per unit for the tokens to be sold during that stage and the total supply of each. This external link field is actually quite important. Here you should input the link where users can actually buy the IDO tokens. This can be in another platform or this could be a trading pair on the Sologenic DEX. Just make sure the link works and it is directing users to the right place to be to participate in the IDO. Once you're done, you will see this IDO as unpublished on your dashboard and when you're ready, just hit published and it will be visible for all investors at the time that you set the first stage to begin. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to tag us on Twitter or simply leave a question in the comments. Thanks for watching.